Hey guys, good morning. Hope you're having a beautiful week. Today I wanted to sit down and film quite a fun video that I actually got inspiration from other YouTube channels. I saw a few videos with the topic of choosing one bag per brand and definitely thought I would really like to do that. So the first one that I saw was from Deb. I'm going to leave her YouTube channel and her video on the description box down below and also my friend Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet. She also made quite a similar video that I'm also gonna link on the description box down below. So basically I have 20 fashion houses and we're gonna only choose one bag from each one and make like a collection this is like no budget i just went to the website and i picked my favorite one and that would be the one bag that i would choose from that brand to keep like in a forever collection so i really love and have a lot of fun with these types of videos they kind of remind me of the og days of handbag youtube so let's get into it i would also love to know which ones would you go for each brand too i'm definitely going to start with the big guns that are going to be elvis and chanel so the first one being elvis i know for sure what I would go for and it's probably my most used Elmas bag and I think this covers a little bit the question of which would be the one bag that I would keep from my collection and I'm going to be very specific but the one bag that I would pick from Elmas would be definitely a Birkin 25 in black Togo leather with gold hardware I think absolutely if I would have to make the decision of only keep one this is the one that I use the most and that I find like the most classic versatile and like the best for me so this one is going to be absolutely my my choice for elements for sure now let's go to Chanel this was going to be a little bit sad but if I were to choose only one Chanel bag and that would be the Chanel bag in this imaginary collection I think I would go for a Chanel classic flap in the medium size in white I would change it a little bit and make this one lambskin with gold hardware I just feel like white classic flaps are just simply stunning so I think that would be my choice for Chanel I would go for medium versus small just because I would like a little bit more extra space especially because I think that I might go for small bags with other brands so that would be my ultimate choice now with Louis Vuitton I knew for sure that I was gonna go for a capucines but if I was to go for one capucines I think the capu shell it's just so unique it's a little bit crazy I know probably it's going to be a little bit hard to pair with some outfits but for that we can have other brands because I think so far this has been one of those bags that I just see it and completely fall in love with it yeah the price can be a little bit up there but I still feel like it's really unique and if I were to have only one Louis Vuitton bag I would definitely want to go for something that is very very special so I love the shape that it has on the bottom I just love how detailed it is so for sure this would be it for me number four is going to be Dior and with this one I'm for sure going for an old bag that was released like a few years ago I've always kind of loved it and it was this mini Lady Dior in the Toile de Jury it was white with navy I remember seeing it on Pinterest or was it Instagram honestly I'm not sure just loving it so so much and I just feel like if there's a bag that kind of does represent percent deal is definitely definitely this one this was a limited edition so this is not for sale anymore and i've seen it from time to time i'm right now not very interested in buying any Dior bags but this one was definitely a bag that i always thought that i wanted to get eventually i just think it's really really pretty and i can definitely see this bag fitting with pretty much any summer maybe also spring outfits that I want number five is going to be Celine and with this one I want to go for a classic for a staple everyday type of bag so I think I'm gonna go with the Triumph but I definitely want to go with the brown one in the natural calf this one can get scratched quite easily but I just love that leather I've seen that bag in person a few times and I've tried it on and I've always really liked it don't ask me why I just don't know why I've never been able to just go and get it something is always kind of like stopping me but I just just feel like this is a beautiful perfect everyday bag and absolutely my top choice from Celine I did think about other bags like the 16 bag but I do think that I gravitated too much towards that style of bag you're gonna see it with the other brands pretty much but definitely the Triumph and in this specific color because I just feel like it's a neutral can go with pretty much everything and it's also quite of a like subtle bag for number six I went for a bit of an understated brand but one that I really really like and it's called Moina and this bag the Gabrielle baby especially the two-tone one the one that has this khaki green really really liked it for the summer again it has a very similar shape to many of the bags that I really like so that's why I didn't go for the setting 16 because this one also has very much the same features it's a top handle I just really like bags that have a top handle but also a strap I really like the shape of the bag and the details that it has I think this would be 
just really a perfect bag maybe for next year i really like the contrast and i just feel like this bag is very aesthetically pleasing to the eye and would also be very easy to pair with pretty much anything i don't know if i really see it as being like a fall winter bag but i think i've chosen enough bags in the other brands that can be pretty much year round so i can choose some of them to be more seasonal hopefully because this one i think it's really nice number seven is delvaux and this bag i actually have never seen it in person but i've seen some videos of it and i just really like it and it's very different from anything that i have and it's the cool box mm i would go probably for a bigger size because i want this bag to fit quite a lot i really like the shape i really like the opening that it has but more than anything what i really love about delvaux is the quality that they have and their leathers it's quite a low-key bag like the only giveaway would be the d that it has on the buckle and also the strap is adjustable and removable which i really really love number eight is one of my current favorites and it's potera veneta and i've been obsessing with this bag so i'm definitely gonna put it as my one bag and it's the jody in the teen size in suede and also at this point i'm quite open to colors of course i would really love something neutral kind of fall themed but i tried the bag once in a bigger size and i just loved it so so much especially in the suede because it just kind of molds to your body it's a very very comfy bag and it also looks so good kind of like complements the outfit so so much no matter what you're wearing but i made the mistake of not getting the bag and now it's basically impossible to get so in an imaginary world i would just literally go pick that one because i loved it i've been kind of trying to hunt one down but i just feel like it's beautiful probably a very delicate bag but i would be quite careful with it for sure brand number nine is going to be goyard and with this one i'm gonna go very basic i would really really like to get the St. louis pm tote in probably the blue i was between the blue and the green but i think for me blue is going to be it it's a very electric blue but i just every time that i see someone wearing it i just really really like the way that it looks i think the gm size could be a bit too big on me so i think that i would definitely opt for the pm so it could be like an everyday bag but still could fit my laptop so i think this is going to be like the tote number 10 is gucci and i did struggle a little bit with this one because i've not been the biggest fan of the bags that they have been releasing lately so honestly the one that i like the most it has to be the jackie bag and i really thought about doing the red one that i've been seeing so much lately feel like i would not use it as much than if it was like a brown color so i found this one on the website the hardware looks like it's kind of silver but it's actually light gold so i do really like that i think i would prefer it if it was like gold to gold hardware i do think that the jackie bag is a very casual but also elegant bag it doesn't have that many blows and whistles as usually gucci has it does not have the big gg does not have any crystals so i think this is going to probably be the best pick for me number 11 is fendi and with this one i already knew the bag that i was going to pick and definitely it was going to be a peekaboo but i have one specific one in mind that i already have kind of like on my wish list and it's this one the exact name of the bag is the peekaboo icu medium white pekin striped fabric bag i'm kind of having a moment with contrasting bags this one that has the white with the brown and the moinade that has the beige with the green i think they're very similar in look but the peekaboo is more like an open bag and it's probably going to fit more where the other one it's more of a structured bag so i think they have very different purposes and also this one i do see it as being more of a year round bag and the other one kind of more like summery i love pretty much everything about the peekaboo how it opens it's just like a very very smart bag it has a top handle it has a strap it has some organization on the inside so definitely definitely a fan of this bag the next one is prada and i wanted to go for a bag that had nylon but not 100 like a nylon bag i wanted something a bit different not the re-edition not the clio i wanted something from the website that i was like this could be very functional so i found this one that is called the re-edition 1978 the Rhine island safiano leather bag i think this is just a very pretty practical durable bag it has leather on the corners it has all the classic prada aspects to it and i just feel like this bag would fit a lot and the zipper goes all the way so it's gonna be a easy bag to put things in and out so practicality wise i think this would be a bag that i would use quite a lot now going with dolce and gabbana i've always really really loved 
a specific bag but they don't sell that one anymore so i went to check on the website and i found this one that if i had to pick one i would go for this for like nights out dinners or like special occasion type of stuff where you need like a shiny bag that has crystals definitely not an everyday type of bag but in an ideal world i would go for this other one that i saw from many many years ago and it's giving more like Bridgerton vibes absolutely no idea what I would wear that bag with but I just really really like it like just the fact that I would have that in my closet I'm pretty sure that I would find like dresses or just outfits that I could pair it with because I find it to be so pretty girly bag and always always really really liked it with Loewe I have so many bags that I like from them that I really struggled to only pick one but at the end of the day I think I went with the one that I have tried the most times and that I've been really really tempted to get because first of all the bag feels amazing like the quality and the leather and it's also a very comfortable bag and this would be the flamenco in like the biggest size I don't think that I would go for black and I also don't want to go with brown because I already picked quite a few other bags in brown so let's go for green with this one in this very dark military green that at the end of the day is also kind of like a neutral very comfortable bag amazing quality fits a lot i just have a weakness for squishy like multiple bags number 15 is the row and i'm not gonna go for the macro bag because i've been i don't know i don't know if i'm changing my mind and i don't like it as much as i used to or if i'm just a little bit saturated with it and never been able to try it on in person so i'm gonna go with a bag that i liked for such a long time like way before the Marco bag was a thing and this is the Sofia bag with this one I would go with black because I really like the silhouette that it has and this is going to be a very elegant sophisticated very clean bag that you just cannot go wrong with and I would go with this one with silver hardware just to pick something different Loropiana this is one bag that I've never seen before specifically this one like I've seen the style of the bag I just have never seen it in this particular print and it's the loom bag and L32. This bag is giving travel bag to the English countryside. It's just beautiful. I, I love the print. If there's anything to take away from this video is that I don't have like an in-between zone. I either like very clean, neutral, simple bags or I go to the other side of the spectrum and I go to very busy, all over the place type of bags and this one I just feel like it's beautiful. I would actually prefer it if it was a little bit bigger so it could be like keepable size to travel with it. This one is more like a handbag but still really love it and if there's a jacket a hat pants in that print that come with it i would probably also get those number 17 is going to be amato daniele and i love amato daniele bags right now one of my favorite bags in my collection is from amato daniele and i think it's the one that i would choose because it's just so special so this one is the amato daniele queen bag in baby blue satin and it has an orchid just the details that this bag has is insane i love it so so much and this bag i got it for my wedding so it has my wedding date inside our wedding date is right here the quality of the bags and the way that they make them is just amazing so for anyone looking for a very understated amazing quality brand i would highly recommend this one they also have it in leather in case you don't want to go for satin i adore this bag and i would get it in pretty much any color that they have number 18 is ysl and i really had a hard time I'm picking this one because I do love the sac de jour but I also love the sunset for a really long time and I also really love the lulu but there's this bag that I really really like and it's like a beach bag but it's massive the moment that I saw this bag this summer fell in love with it and it's the sac de jour in the medium size in raffia with this brown leather and just really really like it I think this could be the perfect summer beach bag not really only for the beach but just like a very beautiful summer bag definitely my top choice absolutely love the bag valentino and with this one i've seen this bag a couple of times i already know that i really like it so i'm gonna go with this mini white with crystals it's called the loco micro bag so it's very very small but very very cute and i just love the off-white and the contrast that it has with the crystals on the buckle i've seen so many valentino crystal bags before i started to become a bit of a fan and this one in a really really small size i think it's doable and the last brand is going to be Miu Miu and I've never really been too much into
changing to Miu Miu. I've never owned a bag from Miu Miu, but I really like this one that I'm probably gonna butcher the pronunciation. It's called the Arcadi Leather Bar. I really like it in the smaller sizes, in this like brownish, almost red type of color. I really like the fact that this one is a smooth leather bag and it doesn't really have the pattern that usually some of their bags have that I'm not the biggest fan of. And this one is just a very cute, practical mini bag. I don't really have a bag in this style right now in my collection. So I think it's definitely time to try some new things. I think I'm gonna try to start with Goyard. I've been really wanting the tote for quite a while. So I'm gonna definitely start looking into it, but would love to know what you guys think about this video idea. I would love to know your choices and which bags you would go for from each brand. If you're not to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done watching, I'm going to leave you two videos right here in case you wanna check them out. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye.